Hello there, Geminis. The, the first thing, I, I feel like the next two weeks would actually be a very growth inducing and, you know, enlightening types of uh, two weeks. So the energy is very strong, very sweeping, and you have a lot of major arcana cards coming through all good ones actually so i feel like it's going to be a really dynamic two weeks okay um the first thing that i'm feeling is that a lot of you in the past you wanted to take on a lot of responsibilities and i feel like this is something that's self-imposed and it might not have been in your best interest so for example um it, it's it can play out in two ways, but I feel almost as if you were inundated with a lot of responsibilities. You were uh, either assigned a lot of tasks that you felt like, okay, realistically, you're not ready for, but you really tried to impress. You really tried to, you know, please whoever it was that assigned you the task. So you took it upon yourself to do it your way. And as a result of it, it left you very little time for leisure. It left you very little time to um, enjoy your, you know, your freedom. And it left you very little time to even sleep. So I feel like there was this heavy burden of an energy coming through from taking on too much. And then for others of you, I feel like it's something, once again, self-imposed, where you felt like, okay, I need to tell this person that they're not doing it right. And I need to tell this other person how they should do their things. And the thing is, we all have different ways of doing something. And so it's not really realistic, nor is it efficient or is it effective to tell somebody the way that they should do something, you know, through the process of trial and error, through the process of naturally learning how to do something, people will automatically, you know, find a way to make things the most efficient, okay? So I feel like you are learning from this and you are pulling back your energy a little bit. Um, you are also um, overcoming the fact that maybe, you know, pushing so far ahead or like um, claiming all of these things as your responsibilities it's isolating you from other people in your work environment, in your social circle, in your family. And so you are starting to soften up. You are starting to realize that maybe this isn't the best way to do it because I'm isolating myself from other people or other people are keeping their distance from me. So you're taking a different approach. Um, what I'm also feeling is that in the past you have dealt with somebody that is very, very, very stubborn, very stubborn. And uh, you both are incompatible and just very different night and day. And so you might have wanted them to do something and you forced and pushed and, you know, you really wanted them to do it because honestly, you do believe that it's in, in their greater interest. It's, in, it's for the better good. And you really believe very, very strongly that that they should listen to you, that it is the right thing to do. And I feel like you might have pushed a little bit too much. And because they were very stubborn, they're also resisting. And so they put their walls up and they kept you at an arm's length, right? And so I feel like coming into this moment in time in the month of, you know, in the mid month of April, you're softening your approach. You're taking a step back. You're learning about loving detachment. And um, I feel like it's not just, you know, something that is um, that that just happens like the like a click of a finger or a, a switch of a light bulb. It happens over time and you're you're softening your energy and you're realizing the right way to, I guess, like um, to coexist with another person rather than imposing or rather than saying this is the right way. I feel like you're allowing uh, an alternative, you know, discourse so that you both can have better communication, so that you both can have better outcome. That is, you know, um, that's more, I, I guess, like more of a consensus between you and that other person. And so the other message that I feel coming through here is that you are changing, drastically changing your technique. I feel like in the past you might have, um, and this is something that's really rare for me to say about an air sign, okay? But I feel like you might have had a very strong emotional response to something, to like a way of doing, a way of living, or just, you know, you, you are very like emotionally tied in to the things that you believe in to be right or to be wrong. You might not have done the, the necessary, you know, preliminary research to figure out whether or not it's really right or really wrong because you are so emotionally invested in 
having that specific outcome, having this specific way of doing something. And so I feel like this Mercury in retrograde period is uh, forcing you to re-examine your motives. And the motives is not so much about, you know, having the other person do something that you want. It's more about where do I really stand? What do I really believe in? Um, how can I work more harmoniously to achieve a specific outcome? So this Mercury retrograde period is bringing a lot of information to light for re-examination. And I feel like it's uh, really hitting you at the core because you're realizing some deep inner truths about yourself. And as soon as, you know, those insights come through, you're able to figure out what you've done in the past, how you could improve upon things so that you can move forward, feeling less conflicted, um, more like directed by inner truths and, you know, truth seeking and trying to, trying to negotiate and even, um, I want to say like compromise with another person on the best course of action rather than having that emotional attachment to what you believe is wrong. You, you then have like a more thoughtful, insightful attachment to the best course of action. So I feel like it's taken a long time for you to get, get here. And I feel like there's still some ways to go. So, you know, it's, it's not the end just yet, but I feel like you're taking the right step. To, with another person to move things along in a more fruitful manner to promote the greater good for everybody involved okay i do see once again dreams of travel travel opportunities people soliciting you let's go here let's go there do you want to stay here do you want to stay there and so you have a lot on your plate in terms of you know people reaching out no longer feeling isolated because people are really reaching out to you so i feel like you're coming out of that cave where you have imposed yourself in isolation and you're just like you're picky about who you are re-engaging with but at the same time that sense of defensiveness is no longer there you're making i feel like better uh, decisions as to how to arrive at a, a a good outcome for everybody involved and so I feel like invitations are coming through, business contracts, business proposals are also coming through. You're picking and choosing to see what, you're weighing out your options and you're no longer having that emotional attachment. I wanna do this because I really you know, like it, but there, you're taking it in, uh, I feel like you're making decisions based on more practical inputs from other people, it, uh, better insights from other people. So they can even sway you as to you know the best course of action, which I feel, it is still good. They, they still have your best interests at heart. There are a lot of social outings happening for you guys. I feel it's friendship based, family based, and I feel like it's going to harmonize. It's going to help you um, kind of like re-enter into this human community is what it feels like to me. So a lot of sincere offers for going out, socializing, and I feel that there are a lot of dealings, they say, with foreigners and dealings with people who have who are very carefree who don't hold grudges who are very easygoing and i feel like that is going to help soften up your energy okay so a really good fruitful two next two weeks uh, i wish you the best gemini's take care of yourself bye bye